the CBG, man. That shit. For real, though? Like, I don't feel any pain in my foot. So, before I started smoking this, What's going on everybody and welcome to today's video. In today's video I have some CBG here. Oh, there it is. It says dank on the fucking container here. Electric Kush. That's the strain. CBG 17% and Delta 9 THC in D. Usually hemp flower has around 0.3% THC. But when I bought this, he explained to me that it's got um, 0.6%. Uh, it's a little bit of a difference there, you know, a little more THC here. Let's get a little look at it. Oh man, that's pretty. Let's pour it out. Let's pour some of these nuggets out. There's gotta be a big one in there, eh? Oh yeah, come out. Oh, that's a big boy. Oh, look at that. Empty. So, wow, that is beautiful. It feels so fresh too. Look at all that. Those hairs and focus up. Wow, that's a beautiful fucking flower, man. Can't wait to smoke this. Uh I have papers there, but I don't have tips. But I also got free cones whenever I bought this, so I'll go ahead and grind some up, man. That is real sticky. <laughs> Very moist. Let's smoke some. We're gonna smoke this in my car. This little black beauty here. I smoke my car a lot. I like having hot boxes. Let's get this hot box started. Got this bad boy packed up. Cheers, boys. So I just realized I don't really have anything to ash in. I might have to roll my window down. Maybe. I got a water bottle back here, I guess. But... Yeah, I guess that'll do. This is how I know I need a haircut, man. This little flip flap thing keeps curling this way like that, and it just looks fucking weird. That's how I know I need a haircut. My hair is so thick right now. And then I need to trim my beard and shit. Look at this cool ass lighter, though, man. The Cheech and Chong one is like this little torch looking one. It's pretty dope. Old roommate gave that to me. I don't know if I packed it right or not, but it's like fucking bent right there. I can't really taste anything so far. Hope I don't fucking got COVID. I don't know. I don't really taste nothing. I like it's just an herbal taste. It's hitting real smooth though. I really, I really like that. It's about that time to ash. Let me open this water bottle. There's still a little bit of water in there. Heard a little sizzle. Burning real nice. The herbal taste is pretty good. My fucking car's already filling up with smoke. Normally, with CBD having the 0.3 or less than 0.3, you know, I still kind of get a buzz off of it. So, with this having a slightly bit more THC. I'm feeling good already. I feel it. I feel my eyes getting heavy already. And I'm not even halfway through this yet. It's starting to get a little warm in here. Sometimes I hate the Texas weather. I mean, it's 76 outside right now. It's good, but I don't want to open my windows. I'm going to turn this AC on, though. I really want to fucking travel. I'm going to be honest. I haven't. I've never been out of Texas, so really like the first spot I want to go to I've been wanting to go to Colorado for years been been talking about it with some friends of mine and then and then like so many plans changed because so many things came up in their lives and shit so so never really traveled out of state and you know me I, I would just really rather not go alone and then COVID became a thing and all that kind of shit and <clears throat> I really don't want to go out and then like get the virus from traveling and shit like that I mean I feel like like I, I work at a grocery store man you know there's so much traffic going by and 
people are getting so close to me and there's sanitizer everywhere so I try to stay sanitized I keep my mask on and all that so I'm pretty sure if I just keep those precautions going when I travel then I'll be safe I'll be all right you know I can literally probably just drive to Colorado though it's from here from where I'm at it's at least maybe a 15 hour drive 15 little over 15 hours so I'm not gonna lie I am feeling like a stronger buzz than I usually would I'm not out of my mind of course you know it's like a low percentage THC but the CBG man that shit for real though like I don't feel any pain in my foot so before I started smoking this after I got off of work last night I had some pain in my heel and I woke up this morning and it was hard to kind of stand on it I don't know what I don't know what's going on I really don't it's nothing too serious I'm sure <laughs> I fucking hope <laughs> but uh had some pain in my heel and fucking woke up this morning I couldn't stand on it I wanted I wanted to give me a little basketball session and, and I just decided man I can't stand on this right now I don't I don't even want to run on it so I stayed in bed till maybe like 11 this morning and then, and I, you know, I thought like, hey, how about I just shoot a video? Here it is. And then I literally just discovered before I started this video that this was CBG. And the little bit that I know about CBG is that like it helps kind of like more with cancer patients. It helps more with pain relief, something like that. I know that it was explained to me, but I don't remember, you know, like. If I would have known, if I would have realized that this was CBG sooner, I would have done a little bit more research. But I'm not gonna lie, my fucking foot does not hurt. Like, I don't feel anything. I feel pretty good right now. This is nice. I think I wanna start, start buying more of this. <laughs> I mean, the shit is dank. The, the fucking label literally said dank. Maybe about halfway, a little less than halfway. Fucking shit, man. I'm so pissed about this, man. You see this shit? Fucking. So, I mentioned before in like my first video, I got, I got like two cats. And this was from the boy cat. And I forgot what the fuck happened. What did I even do to him? Why did he scratch me? I think I was just loving on him too hard. Um, you know, cats don't really like to be carried or nothing. I was carrying him. I was fucking holding him. Like, he's a lovable cat, so, you know, a lot of the times he doesn't mind, but I don't know what's going on this day. <sighs> Motherfucker just <sighs> scratched the fuck out of my arm. But, man, I love that fucking cat. I got a picture of both of them, so, right here. Look at that dirty water. Gross. Gross. Want me to drink it? No, nah, hell no, I'm not gonna drink it. That's gross. And true story, I'm pretty sure, like, once all this madness started, I'm pretty sure I caught COVID. Maybe. Like, I was at work coughing my lungs out and shit. I had mucus all in my nose. My eyes were watery. And I was just gonna tough it through. You know, I was just gonna fucking go straight through for, uh, through for work and shit. Because I'm over here thinking, it's just an average cold, you know. I, I've had this plenty of times. And some motherfuckers hear me coughing in the cooler. And I get it now, you know, like, that was at the beginning, you know. I wasn't taking this shit too serious. I thought it was just another thing, like, how the swine flu was and shit. I'm pretty sure that's what everybody knew. But this shit is so fucking deadly, bro. It's nothing to be playing with, like, for real. Anyway... I'm in the cooler, people hear me coughing, and one of my admins comes up to me and like, how are you feeling? Are you okay? We've heard you coughing and all that, and we, we really can't be taking any chances. We're gonna have to send you home. And I've already been there for like six hours of the eight hour shift. <laughs> I'm like, um, I think it's just a cold though. Like, yeah, but you have one of the symptoms, you're coughing. shit was wild bro like for real 
I'm not gonna say I had it, but there is a possibility that I might have had it. I mean, I didn't have trouble breathing. I could still taste. It was literally just a cough with like phlegm and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And it was so stupid because you know how now, you know, you go get a COVID test, they put the swab in your nose or whatever. And what they told me to do, I'm not really getting anything out of this no more. Gotta hit it super hard. Anyway, what they told me to do was to download an app, call our store hotline, and fucking virtually get checked up, basically. The bitch had me put the camera to my throat and say, no, your tonsils aren't swollen, you know, you, you don't have COVID, you know, maybe it's just a, a normal cough, and she was fidgety, too, and it's like... Are you sure you know what you're talking about? This is like, come on, you're you're in a in a doctor's uniform at home. Uh, it could be legit, but there was no test to run on me at all. All she did was look into my throat, and I'm pretty sure she could barely see into my throat. So I think because I turned the AC on, my car is not really boxing, hot boxing. Fuck, it's not really hot boxing too well. Mm -hmm. Let's see. The smoke is fucking going everywhere. So, guess that was a mistake. But fuck it, man. I, it looks great outside. I'm, I'm that type of guy that fucking loves the gray skies. Like I'm more into the winter season, the fall winter season. Like I love when it's cold, and that's like why I don't really like being in Texas too much. Like I love living in the state, but man. It's so damn hot here. <laughs> like, even in the winter, it's 75 degrees right now. Come on now. That's another reason why, like, I really want to go to Colorado. I know there's more northern states, but Colorado is, like, the top dog for me. I want to go see the mountains. I want to fucking go to dispensaries and be in some better weather than here in Texas. I mean, I guess uh, an advantage would, like... <clears throat> You know, it doesn't snow as heavy, so it's not hard to drive everywhere, but, you know, ice still forms on the cars, and, you know, that's, I, the roads get icy and shit, they get off frozen, so that's still pretty dangerous, but, it did snow here, maybe, like, it, it did snow here, like, about a week ago, though. Not too much here in this area, but I know in Austin it snowed, it snowed quite a bit, actually, it looked pretty cool, I got some friends that live there, I saw it on their Snapchat, it's pretty cool. Well, I'm nearing the end. Whatever little bit is there that I can salvage, I might just fucking put in the bong. Um, if not, fuck it, I guess, you know. Yeah, that's that's gonna be the video though. I'm, I'm basically done with this. Like I said, I'll just put the rest in the bong. I'm gonna close this water bottle. Um, if you enjoyed the video, give me a like. Um, if you come across the channel, subscribe so you don't miss the next video. I feel pretty good right now. My foot doesn't hurt like I mentioned, like I'm fucking over here stomping, which probably isn't a good idea. CBG, it's really good for pain. <laughs> like, um, to me, in my opinion, it's really good for pain. If you don't know, if you don't know what it is, I recommend doing research. I didn't know that this was CBG. I didn't realize it, so otherwise I would have done some research I would have told you, my bad. For me, it's helping with my foot pain and it, feels good so I really don't know what CBG is like I don't know what else it does so my bad you know but for pain relief hey um, anyway guys see you in the next one appreciate you keep up the good vibes hey almost messed up my hand sign there and um, yeah see you in the next one